The Lansky Controlled Angle Sharpening System, standard version, with coarse, medium, and fine grade hones. Does it work with low quality steel? Does it work with high quality steel? Is it worth the $22.49 I paid for it? Well, in today's episode, we're going to find out. I really don't know why I'm talking like this, but my voice seems to be getting quieter and quieter and quieter. What's going on guys, it's Alex here. And yes, we've got the Lansky Controlled Angle Sharpening System. This is the standard version. They do make a more expensive version, which is the premium or deluxe version. I'm not real sure what they call it. It includes two extra stones, a finer stone and a coarser stone. I bought the cheaper one because if this one works, the more expensive one's gonna work just as well. We've got two different knives to test this one. I have the Spyderco Tenacious, which has 8CR13 MOV steel. I also have the Spyderco Sage 1, which uses S30V steel. So we're definitely gonna be putting this to the test. So let's get right to it. Would be nice if this thing had like a base or a, a pedestal or something that you could um, set it on. Maybe it'd be better to hold it like this. Yeah, this thing. I just finished up here on the uh, 600 grit stone and this is what our edge is looking like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and strop this because we have a burr formed. It's laying over on this side. I can feel it with my finger and you're not gonna be able to see this but there's actually little pieces of wire coming off the edge here. So we're gonna have to remove that. The way we do that is with a strop so we'll go ahead and strop on the uh, DIY strop. All right, here it is, if it'll focus here. This is what our edge looks like, and uh, it's very sharp. No complaints, it's very sharp all the way around. Did a good job. Um, I mean, I'm running out of arm here, but this will definitely shave, no problem. So I actually did a video last week where I sharpened this on a uh, $12 stone, and I've been using this knife pretty heavily this week. It's not super dull, but it could be it could be sharpened. So we'll go ahead and uh, start it off. I think we're going to start this on a little bit coarser. We're going to start it on the 120 grit, just because this is a uh, a fairly difficult steel to sharpen um, compared to the ATR13 MOV Tenacious that we just sharpened a second ago. So we'll start off on the 120 grit, and I think that'll give us a good. Uh, a good starting point and then we will just go up through the grip progression that we have here uh, 120 to 280 to 600 and again we should get a we should get a decent result so one thing i like to do on the uh on the harder steels like s30v and uh, some of the super steels is i like to start out on a really coarse grit stone um, I think it just helps you in the long run. It helps you uh, establish that apex early on, and then you can just worry about refining the edge. We got a very sharp edge on S30V. Definitely give it a pass. I was kind of hoping we'd have a different knife here to test this one, but it hasn't arrived yet in the mail. We got a very good edge on here. It's shaving sharp. Probably can't see that because uh, I'm running out of arm hair, but anyway, shaving sharp, gets the job done. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely give it a pass. We'll do a paper test here real quick because I know everybody loves the paper test. Now, 
no problem. That's no problem either. All right guys, so what are my ending thoughts about this system? Well, let me, let me adjust this real quick. So this system gives a really nice looking edge. There's no guesswork. There's really no skill involved. You still have to worry about completely apexing your blade, making sure that both sides of the blade come together to form an exact point somewhere in the middle, um, which with this system, it will be in the middle because you're locked down in place. Um, build quality on this thing, honestly, is not great. The build quality on this thing's actually kind of poor. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how this thing holds up in the long run. So even if this thing only lasts for 10 knives and you only sharpen 10 knives with this thing, I still think it's a good deal. Um, that's $2.25 per sharpen. It's gonna cost you more to get it professionally sharpened anyway. This does give you a very good results. Shaving sharp, no problem, no skill whatsoever. As long as you have a strop, you gotta have a strop with this system. It'll leave a burr. Um, I tried to get it on camera, but it wouldn't show up on the, uh, on the viewfinder. So I don't know if it's gonna show up or not, but there's a large burr rolled over to one side. We just had to remove that on the strop. Once that's removed, you're left with a very sharp blade. So that's it guys for the controlled angle Lansky sharpening system. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time. What's going on guys? It's Alex here. Yes, we've got the Lansky controlled 